how stupid it is because of the sermon you just told because everyone's possessed by some spirit that makes them think that it's normal to to be to to be trading paper for for food yeah well that's what your sermon i, I just learned i just got a review of the truth from your sermon and now you're arguing against it that doesn't well, make sense I'm just, I'm just explaining why it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah, you just like clearly told why why people worship money, and now you're like, but it works though. <laughs> it works because the Pharisees have set it up for you to go run your life around paper. <laughs> we ain't broke no paper. We keep cranking out paper and buying stuff with it. it works for me. Well, every I guess weeks, you, weeks, you told weeks, a good sermon, God but you haven't, double. you told a good sermon, but you haven't figured out how to pull yourself out of the Pharisee control system, that's for sure. Not me? You just, you just exposed the Pharisee control system and now you're praising it. Okay, now you're praising the Pharisee system. <laughs> as long as you don't hurt yourself too bad. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't really care. That's how you know it. That's how you do that. You just. Well, I have it. You just expose the Pharisee system really well, and now you're like kind of giving it an excuse. You're like, well, it is pretty easy to work with. It is, it is nice to put these invisible shackles on. We'll get tired of trading beads. You, you don't paper. get it. It's, you just said it's a spiritual battle. Weren't you listening to yourself? It doesn't have to do battle, with what... It it's not, it's not the results of the... It's a spiritual battle. I'm battling. It's a battle. It's never any battle. Well, you won't be trading anything. If, you wouldn't even have to trade anything if, if the if the Pharisee control system wasn't there. People would just be working together. They wouldn't they wouldn't be like acting like, oh well, you're not good enough because you don't got enough paper to show me. And yeah, it was like you hungry here. Here's a hot dog. They just here's remember if dog. if you were if you were helping do something, they'd like feed you or something. They wouldn't say, oh, well, here's the conditions where you're going to get to eat, so I'm going to start a slave slavery. Yeah. But those are just, those are symptoms of the, of the spiritual possession. They're, they're really just possessed by bad spirits. You make them act that way. The whole entire country is possessed. I do that for truckers or for truck stop bums. I pick them up and feed them for gardening. Well, that'll help. You can rake my, rake my garden this afternoon and I'll fix you a steak. I mean, that's, I think you're defying the control system when you do that. <laughs> Yeah, that's like an act. Yeah. You're actually acting against the control system when you do that, so it's kind of an act of charity. So you're doing good. You can have a steak for breaking my garden. Well, they're bartering. Did you notice what? the Pharisee control system prohibits bartering because they want yeah. to, They won't let you barter. They want. They want to control all trades, so they put the pay. They they just dump the paper money on you. Well, I have to go to bartering if we don't. Well, they always have made bartering illegal, though. They make it illegal? Well, if you start trading without a license, you're going to get in trouble. Sure. It's all I regulated. Start I start what? 
you start trading without a license, you'll get prosecuted. I trade without a license now. Well, the New World Order hasn't reached your neighborhood yet to regulate your behavior. Yeah. 